Good afternoon, everybody. It is time for some more metal detecting. I'm over at the uh, high school today, and I want to see if I can search some areas that might be likely, like Senior Hill and some other things that I haven't searched in a while. And I suspect there haven't been a lot of metal detectors out uh, over the last uh, six months, coming out of winter into spring and summer. So. That's what I'm going to do today, and you guys are long. I'm going to be using my white XLT metal detector, which I love. I've been using it for about 15 years. Let's get on with the hunt. First thing you have to realize when you get on these hunts is that things change around, whether it's on high schools, parks, trees get removed, surfaces get regraded. But here's a place here. Uh, where formerly it might have been a grass hill and now it has some uh, uh, cypress plants on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this hill first. Okay, there's the first find of the day. It's like just a regular memorial penny. Yeah, that's what it is. In pretty rough shape. Let's see what we got down here. Got another penny. Nope, we got a dime. Nope, lost a dime. There's nothing special. It's right by this, uh, right by this bench over here. Onward. Here we got another decent signal down here. Right by the edge of the bench. About one inch down, we should be able to hear it. Let's see if we can give a little dig there. This ground is like a rock. Oh, and there it is. All right. Is that we got another dime? See that? Our second dime of the day, nothing special. Looks like the boys are over here putting a new roof on the, uh, I guess that's the cafeteria. It's a handsome old campus from the 1920s. Featured in the movie Peggy Sue Got Married. The quintessential 1920s through 1950s high school. Nothing really changed that much, although there's some, some new buildings around. In a lot of ways, it looks more like a college campus. And there's another penny. This looks like a 1982. These are actually worth more than a penny. They have a much higher copper content in them. So you definitely want to hold on to these. I don't know what this marker means. Cherie O'Hare, 1960 to 1977, must be a little memorial placard for one of the students that passed away, unfortunately. So, uh, God bless and rest in peace. Looks like another uh, penny. This thing went deep. Heck, it's, that's not even a penny. That's like uh, Canadian money there. Let's get in the sunlight and take a closer look. Yeah, that's like a 1968 Canadian penny. Pretty cool, huh? You literally never know what you're going to find when you come out. Pretty cool. Way under a bush here. Oh, what is that? Oh, another rotten penny. Uh, what do we got here? Another penny. That's a penny, yeah. 
another penny. What I'm doing is just working my way up the hill now. Here, this is Senior Hill. Every year they paint their uh, year on there, 2020. Amazing year. Not in a good way. You guessed it. Another dime. This one looks like a 1976. Got about one inch on the surface there. Things literally do roll downhill here. Another penny. Plenty worn out. First quarter signal of the day, or else it's oh, look at that Mickey Mouse. That's pretty cool, huh? Scored another dime. Nothing special, but money in the bank. It's weird, I'm finding a lot of pennies in the 70s here. I'm just searching over on the side of the hill here, next to the building. And it's definitely worth more than a penny. Another signal down here. Dig down a little bit. Oh, I think I can see a coin stuck right in the side, right there. Yep, there it is. And it is another penny. Nineteen seventy-six. Another one from the seventies. Let's say you can't really tell. Nineteen seventy something. S. You guys might be able to tell better than I. Amazing the number of uh, pennies from the seventies here. Come around the uh, side of the theater building here. I like to work where the uh, sidewalk is. Always had good, pretty good success over there. School days. What a handsome looking building, isn't it? It's a real landmark for the city. I guess I had the uh, date wrong. 1924, there's the cornerstone. Here's something you don't see too often. Look at this massive chestnut tree here. Of course, we know there was a chestnut blight. I'm not sure whether this is American or the English one, but uh, boy, you want to be careful stepping on these babies. They got the chestnuts inside, and when they're ripe, we'll see a lot of Chinese people over here gathering chestnuts under this tree, but this is a massive tree. Ow. Got another dime right under the tree. Nothing special. Typical day metal detecting. Our first quarter of the day. Kind of a strange mixed signal. 
always try to cut like a horseshoe plug and turn it over. That way you can put it back down. Not really disturb the ground. Could also be a water sprinkler system. Nope, there's a coin right there. I believe, let's go into the sun. Yep. That is our first quarter of the day. It's like about a 1980. Nice find. Give me another look at how massive this tree is. Plenty of tasty chestnuts. If you got steel gloves. That's a beauty. If you're gonna be a metal detector and you're sporting them, expect to be hooting and hollered at a lot, but working the sidewalks is always the most productive. Kids get off school buses, all kind of things happen on the sidewalk, so be ready for the wolf whistles and the hooting and holler. up another quarter it was pretty close to the surface nothing special but I think that's the fourth one today right by this huge redwood tree here might be another surface one let's see right here let me get the uh, probe Do a little dig down here. No, we got a penny. It's like just another penny. Sure we got nothing else that was a pretty strong signal so i'm going to re-sweep the hole which i always advise metal detectors to do because sometimes people will spill more than one coin i hope that's clean so i'm going to cover it up and keep rolling always clean up after yourself Another signal in here could be a quarter let's see This one's going to take a little bit of doing, I think. That's way too long in there. Could be. We'll turn that over carefully. The heck is that? Whole piece of pipe. Well, the rule is if you get junk, make sure to pack it out. Probably part of a sprinkler system. Looked over at that tree. I thought, geez, there's Rocky Squirrel splayed out dead right there. Is that weird? Woo, kind of spooked me for a second. Wow. Art imitates life, huh? Looks like we got ourselves another quarter. This might be the sixth one today. This is a 65. I'll take it. Let's 
see what we got here. Oh, yay, it's turning into quarter day. Two thousand and eighteen. All right. It's time in the shadow of these vaunted halls of Santa Rosa High School. Let's take a look after about two hours of metal detecting. That's really about all my back can take bending over and my knees. But it uh, never disappoints. It's always fun and it's great to get out in the air and you never know what you're going to get. Today a Canadian coin and a little uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Disney pin. Let's check it out after two hours of work. Okay, definitely the coolest finds of the day are the little Mickey Mouse pin. <clears throat> and I don't know if I've ever really found Canadian money before. But this uh, penny is pretty cool. And I got what, a dollar fifty in quarters. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18 cents and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dimes. I'd say that's a very representative day of metal detecting a high school. Didn't feel like going too far today, but I'm happy. As usual, I want to thank you guys for being along. Like I say, this is an average day. You'll see a lot of metal detecting channels that, uh, you know, I hate to say it, they juice things up a little bit and drop a little goodies in but if you're thinking about metal detecting and you're thinking about detecting a high school uh, yeah, this is probably what your average haul is going to look like a couple rings years ago 15 years ago I used to get a couple rings out now over here that's much more difficult but it sure is fun to be outside and get some air that's finally a little fresh after the fire so your thumbs up are appreciated, and I'm always happy to have you guys along. Thanks so much.